Yep. I see him.
have the distinct honor of welcoming all to the graduation of the class of 1993. An immediate thank you to Congressman Sweat for his time this afternoon. A welcome to Mr. Joy, Mrs. Kelly, and to those of the Hollis Brookline High School community who have chosen to attend. We honor you as well. The class welcomes our parents, without whom this day would seem less monumental. We are proud of you for sticking with us. Shapes and interests, flexing to accomplish new achievements and reach new goals. Putty can bend like taffy, but if forced, it will break without reason. Protect yourself from similar demise. Be willing to accept failure as a learning experience. Bend towards embarrassment, but do not break on the way. Silly Putty can pick up images. And then, as if to fly in the face of conformity, it can pull and stretch it until it is entirely new. We move forward, attempting this balancing act responding to others while remaining ourselves, a challenge well practiced in high school and hopefully mastered for the years to come. Thank you. with the Hollis Brookline class of 1993. Throughout my time at Hollis Elementary School, I remember all of the compliments we received. Sixth grade teacher Mr. Ward said, a class like yours comes along only once in a while. I am assured that Brookline Elementary students received similar compliments. After a successful junior high stay, we entered high school as one of the most heralded classes ever. Our four years at high school could well be described as excellent. In fact, we have been exceptional. In the sports arena, members of our class won Monadnock League championships by the score and Class M championships in baseball, tennis, and track. In that regard, we have been exceptional. Our musicians continuously excel at all state and beyond. In that regard, we have been exceptional. We have five Eagle Scouts in our ranks. In that regard, we have been exceptional. Our American Studies class won the Bicentennial Constitutional Competition for New Hampshire. In that regard, we have also been exceptional. We have an unprecedented number of students attending highly competitive colleges. And of course, for what is worth, we had the highest CAT scores in New Hampshire. In those regards, we have been exceptional. Though these are all noteworthy accomplishments, I haven't really touched on the real meaning of excellence as it applies to our class. All classes have some degree of athletic, musical, and academic prowess. Remarkably philosophical. Why is it when you stand in front of a mirror, 
Your left is your right, but your top's not your bottom. Does this universe somehow know its top from its bottom, but not its left from its right? And do we all really see the same colors? If I were to look through someone else's eyes at a tree, would it still look at, like what I consider green? Then came senior seminar. <laughs> Can virtue be taught? What is the origin of the universe? Are we all just actors in some elaborate dream? As you can well see, it has been a very thought-provoking year. I, when I wasn't avoiding my homework or procrastinating on a themes paper, I actually thought about some of these things. The more I thought, the more I realized I didn't know the answers. I suppose I could have just dismissed them all as things you're not supposed to know, but that wasn't good enough anymore. I seriously doubt things would be the same if people just accepted things the way they were. I guess the biggest question of all is, are all these matters just trivialities not worthy of thought? Well, maybe they are, or maybe not. We must not, however, just blindly accept them or dismiss them. I see no reason to stop thinking about something just because the answer seems uncertain. As high school graduates, we have the distinct opportunity to become anything we want. It is amazing to think that at this very moment, I look out on tomorrow's leaders the doctors, the lawyers, the teachers, the musicians, the writers, and perhaps a few politicians. I hope I never take these opportunities for granted, high school years, nor those that will arise in the years to come. Who knows, maybe we'll be the ones to find the answers. Enjoy the years we have now. We'll never be in the same position as we are today, our roots planted and our eyes to the future. We will undoubtedly encounter many questions of why, but never lose sight of the more optimistic view, because after all, why not? Thank you.